Hey guys, it's Kong Zombies, and today we're going to be going over the top three best game recording software for Windows, any Windows. Uh, these recording softwares do not work on Mac, and two of them can record screen and game. Only one of them records just game specific games. I'll get to that in a little bit. But I'm actually using one of them right now to screen record, and the game I'm going to be testing this on, all of my uh, recording softwares, is going to be Black Ops 3. I have it right here, it's already installed. And uh, the reason I chose Black Ops 3 out of all my other games, why not choose, you know, CSGO, World at War, uh, is because this game runs really well, 60 frames, and I think it's going to be best to show the proper frame rate and uh, graphic quality. I think it's going to be really nice. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So coming in at number 3, we have NVIDIA Shadow Play. And the reason I put this at number 3 is because it has everything I want. There's 720p, 60 frames. I can even change it to 1080p if I want to but it's going to take up a lot of space. The coolest thing about this is the shadow time. What it does, if I don't plan on recording and I'm in a game that's compatible with shadow play, if I catch a good clip and I'm just like, oh, I wish I had that. I think we all say at some point in time where you're all just like, oh, man, I wish I got that on video. That was the funniest thing ever. Well, shadow play does that. You press F11 and you go back in time to however many minutes you want. You can go up to 20 minutes or you can go as low as one minute. I set to one minute because it's the lowest file size. Um, that's one of the problems with this is the file size is a little bit large. That's why it's at number three as well as audio isn't that customizable. Uh, quality is really good. And then you can use desktop capture. I said before that only two of these recording softwares could only do desktop capture. But uh, this one can do desktop capture as well. So uh, yeah, let's check out how a game runs. Black Ops 3 runs with Shadowplay. So as you see here, Shadowplay records so well, honestly. 60 frames, 720p, and the game still looks incredible. The game still runs at 60 frames. I should have put on my FPS counter, but I really didn't. But obviously, you can tell that's more than 60 frames per second. And it just records really, really nicely. I kind of messed up on the audio when I recorded this, so I kind of took out uh, the audio and I replaced it with what I'm saying right now. But uh, yeah, there's nothing really to show here. Pretty much, I mean, it's everything that I wanted. And the only problem is that it has a slightly large file size, but that's nothing to complain about, especially if you, if you have decent internet and you're trying to upload this to YouTube. So uh, yeah, let's go on to number two. So coming in at number two, we have OBS. And OBS is just all around amazing. It's a great free screen recording and game recording software. There is a ton of customization here. And best of all, it's just free. This is free. There's no pay, subscription thing, anything. It's all free. And not only is it screen recording, but there's also live streaming tools here. So there's settings here, which I'm in right now to the right, as you see. And you can customize pretty much anything. General, language, uh, encoding, uh, however what you want to encode it. Broadcast settings, video, there's my stream key, whoa. Video, audio, hotkeys, advanced, quick sync encoder, browser. All this crazy stuff. There's a ton of settings. You can change it. You can even change it to 60 frames, and it's for free completely for free uh... there's nothing you have to pay for uh... and you don't have to have a graphics card like a a good graphics card to use obs and uh... Yeah, that's why it comes in at number two the only bad thing about it though is sometimes the quality can be slightly bad but other than that it's crazy for a good free recording software so uh... yeah let me show you some of the uh... gameplay with obs so this is how OBS may or may not look like when you record it. It will take a while to adjust the settings to your preference in OBS, but overall it's going to be worth it. As you can see in this game, this game runs a solid 60 frames. Even though it did take me just a little bit to optimize it, it ended up in the long run being pretty darn amazing. Like, look at this. All of these screen recording softwares honestly look really, really nice. If you can even notice the difference, they all look incredibly good. And that's why I use like all three of these consistently uh, whenever I record videos. I, I switch them up, honestly, because I don't care which one I use. They're all really good. But uh, yeah, OBS, kind of a large file size. Other than that, and all the uh, huge adjustments you have to do, that's why it comes in at number two. So finally coming in at number one we have XSplit and it really looks weird here I didn't even notice that but uh, yeah this is XSplit it has a ton of customization it keeps a very very low file size as you see at the top there it says about you know nine 
uh, 10, 11 megabytes, and that's pretty l darn low for a screen recording software, even though it may not seem like it. So the free version has 720p and 30 frames, which is really all you need for a YouTube uh, game recording. Uh, but my GTX 950 that I purchased came with a free year of XSplit, which is fantastic. So I get to record, as you see here, 720. I could record at 1080 if I wanted to. 60 frames, I could record up to 120 if I wanted to. And uh, this is just a scale region for when I'm, uh, you know, I have this window open. So uh, I have all these scenes down here. I can switch scenes if I wanted to right now. It's going to be black. because I. And now we're back at scene one. So, uh, yeah, you can change that really easily. I have all my stuff down here for when I record games. And it it's so nice, especially when I try to add, a, like, a screen capture. It just chooses it for me, and it's, it's really easy. It's actually a lot easier than OBS. So, uh, yeah, let me show you uh, some gameplay with the XSplit game recorder. So, as you can see, XSplit runs this game fantastically. I keep a solid 60 frames, just like Shadow Play. I keep everything really nice, and XSplit just does the job for me. Keeps it at a very low file size as of right now recording. It's only been 25 megabytes, and while that might seem like a lot, it's really not in the long run. After playing for like an hour, and it, the file size is only like one gigabyte, it is fantastic. So this is why I give XSplit a number one on my top three list. So that was my top three game recording software on Windows. Now, uh, obviously you guys know my opinion, but I really want to know your guys' opinion, what you guys think is the best game recorder. Personally, as you saw, I enjoy XSplit the most. It's just the easiest to use, but sometimes I enjoy Shadowplay or OBS. I use all of them, and that's why I put them all on this list. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace.